the new Pimax Crystal Lite comes with a new feature. Fixed foveated rendering and what this does is that it makes the image sharp in the center of the headset and blurs the edges giving you a performance boost. This is different than dynamic foveated rendering as dynamic foveated rendering only makes the image sharp to wherever you look. It tracks your eyes. With fixed foveated rendering it only makes the image sharp in the middle. So let's see how much of a performance boost we get by enabling fixed foveated rendering. And we will do two tests, one on a high-end PC and one on a, well, middle to high-end PC. And in the first testing round we are testing with an i9-14900KF, a 4090 graphics card and 64GB of RAM. And here we are flying in the MiG-15 over the Caucasus map without fixed foveated rendering. The DCS settings are set to high and with the native Pimax resolution. And still, of course, on this high-end PC, we get above 60 FPS average. Super happy with this. Incredibly sharp and beautiful. And here, same settings, we have enabled fixed foveated rendering. And we do get a 40 extra FPS. 40 extra FPS. We are now above 100. Still ultra sharp in the middle of the headset. Yes, I can see the blurry edges, but they don't annoy me. But damn, what a performance gain over here. And here we are again in the MiG-15, same DCS settings, fixed foveated rendering enabled, but I have set the resolution in the Pimax software to medium instead of high. And now we are hitting the maximum FPS of 120 over here. And we stay well above 115 FPS on average. What a gains. Welcome in the F4. DCS settings on high, Pimax native resolution, so that is high, and without fixed foveated rendering. And without, we get around 50 FPS here on the ground. And as soon as we lift up, the FPS is going a little bit higher towards the 60s, but kind of maneuvers and hangs around the middle 50s here. And once more, we are in the F4, same settings as before, but with fixed foveated rendering. And as you can see, we gain 10 to 15 more FPS here on the ground. Let's see what happens if we lift up, rotate. What a beauty of a plane this is. We are now getting above 70. 75 towards 80 well it was without hanging between the 50s so a 30 30 fps increase i would say in the air and once more in the f4 dcs settings to high fixed foveated rendering enabled but the pimax resolution is set to medium in the pimax software and here we get kind of the same results as before, but once we lift up, um, I can see the FPS going towards the 90s here, which is 10 FPS more than when I had set the Pimax resolution to high. And even though the resolution is set to medium, all the indicators are still very visible. The last test of this high-end computer. We are in the Kiowa, in Syria, on the ground here, without fixed foveated rendering, highest settings, highest resolution, and we get around 50 FPS here. Now let's see what will happen if we take off. And once we are up in the air here, close to other helicopters, we get around 60 FPS. Still quite amazed by how clear and sharp this all is, native resolution without fixed foveated rendering and still maintaining that 50s to 60 fps here and welcome back in my chopper now same settings 
highest native resolution, highest DCS settings, but with fixed foveated rendering. And as you can see, a nice 20 to 30 FPS increase here on the ground in the Kiowa in Syria. And if we take off here, we can see the FPS only increasing to at some points 80 and 90 FPS. Once more in the Kiowa, highest DCS settings, but the resolution set to medium with fixed foveated rendering. And here on the ground, just looking forward, it's kind of a heavy scenario, but here you can see 90 FPS. 90 FPS on the ground in Syria in the Kiowa with lots of choppers next to me here. And once we get up in the air, it just uh, gets to 80, 90 and sometimes even more. All right, the second test is on a somewhat lower spec computer, the i9-9900K, somewhat of an old CPU. You can't buy this one anymore, I think. A 3080 Ti and still 64 gigabytes of RAM. And these are my in-game settings. With the 4090 system, everything was set to high. For the 3080 Ti system, these are my settings. Some are on high, some set to medium, some to off. And surely you can get a better performance gain by setting some of these high settings to medium. And here we are back in the MiG-15 without fixed foveated rendering. And still, I get quite a good FPS here, very surprised around 80. Of course, we play with lower settings here than the one on the high-end PC, but still, kind of surprised, we are hitting this FPS here. Back in the MiG-15 with fixed foveated rendering. And as you can see here, and what I have noticed, is a 10 to 15 FPS increase. Still looking fabulous. One more time in the MiG-15. Fixed foveated rendering enabled, but I have set the Pimax resolution to medium instead of high, the native one. And here now, ha oh man, 110, 115 at times. Fantastic. What a gain. Ah, and back in the F4. And here it kind of struggles without fixed foveated rendering. Highest resolution, 50 48 FPS, my CPU is cooking here at the moment. I notice quite some stutters. The FPS is also kind of all over the place. This is not what you want. Doesn't look really nice within the headset with these stutters. Uh, but yeah, 48, 50, doesn't get much up from here. It always sticks around and it dips to 30 at times. It never gets, it never hits that 60. And here we are back in the F4, highest resolution. Not something I would advise to play uh, with a 3080 Ti, to play with the Pimax Crystal on the highest resolution. Just put it to medium, it, it's still fine. But here with fixed foveated rendering, as you can see, the FPS is a bit more stable. It doesn't drop all the way, it's not all over the place. So that's, that's better, that's better. And once we get up in the air a little bit, we wait a little bit, now it's hitting 60 FPS and at times the higher we fly it gets uh, it gets better towards the 70s as well. So still a pretty nice performance gain here with fixed foveated rendering in DCS. And now having set the Pimax resolution to medium with fixed foveated rendering Kind of the same FPS here as before. That might just be the scenario not being very optimized for VR. Uh, the moment we take off here, we can see the FPS going to 60, uh, at times going to 70, the higher we get. And even when I flew for a bit longer here, getting up more, it even went to the 80s here. So yeah, with an i9 9900K and a 3080 Ti, this is pretty nice to do in the Syria map, which is kind of heavy in the F4, which is not the easiest module to handle for the graphics card and the CPU. I would be quite satisfied with this. That's it for today. Don't want to make it any longer than 10 minutes. My conclusion, well, especially for the high end computer with the 4090 and the high end CPU, it's magic. Sometimes even 40 
to 50 more FPS. That's really insane. Now for the lower end computer, and especially I think with my i9-9900K, it's a somewhat older CPU and I don't think it can handle the fixed foveated rendering calculations as well as a higher end CPU. Um, but still, you do see some performance increases. 10, 15, sometimes 20, even 30 FPS gains, so that's quite a lot. So even if you have a little bit of a higher or better CPU than mine, I think you can get better results. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you want to check out my very first out of the box review of this headset, the Pimax Crystal Lite, you can check out my previous video. We are going to test out this headset way more. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 that comes out this year and in other games as well. Stay tuned, stay subscribed if you want to keep up to date. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.